After nearly five years of being a freelance graphic designer, I took my business full time and here's what helped me take that leap. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I post every Wednesday and Sunday. I love to talk about my experiences running a graphic design business and all the things I learn along the way. I'm so excited you're here today. I'm gonna take it back along my journey and tell you guys why I decided to finally take my graphic design business full time and what really helped me take that leap because I know it can be a really scary kind of risk and leap to take and I wanna give you all the confidence you need to take that leap if you feel the pull to do it. So one of the first reasons I decided to finally take my business full time and I say finally because there was years ago I could have taken this leap but there was so much fear and things holding me back from finally doing it. But what really pushed me to do it was I wanted that creative freedom that I knew having my own business would allow me to do. So having creative freedom really for me meant waking up in the morning and working on content, working on client projects that I really enjoy working on and having that freedom to go after the projects that really just fill me up and light me up and make me love my job. And I felt like for so long working after corporate companies and working at agencies and all these different places, I never felt fulfilled creatively because I was always within limitations and within these specific guidelines for what I could create. I remember at the first corporate job I was at, we had literal three fonts that we had to use and that we could use. And it just wasn't as fulfilling as searching for those fonts, searching for the colors, diving into brand strategies and connecting with so many brands out there. And for me, I've always been the person that loves change and loves to change things up. As you can see, I just changed the backdrop of my office, um, which I do quite often. I love change, so I knew that working for myself and working for all these different brands was gonna provide me the sort of like variety in my life that I need. And I love working with businesses that are all over the place. Like, of course, I love the wellness businesses and what I'm very passionate about because I understand it better, but every single wellness business has something unique to provide and i love that aspect of having my own business and going after those projects and those clients that really just fill me up so ultimately that was my why and that's what really drove me and pushed me to finally take the leap but there's a lots of other things that i'm also going to go into that helped me finally take that leap into full-time graphic design so the second reason I was finally able to quit freelancing and start full-time graphic design was because I financially knew that I'd be able to support myself. I know I've mentioned here and there that that was always a fear for me that maybe I wouldn't have that consistent income or that paycheck that I would be getting every single two weeks. Um, that definitely was a fear of mine and a little bit scary. Um, it's definitely a risk because you don't really know what you're gonna be making every month especially in your first year of business, but I waited and I waited until I was in a really good financial position to finally take that step into full-time graphic design. What helped me realize I would able to be financially okay is that I was making almost more than my full-time job. So for that year, I made double my income and it was amazing at the time, but I was working and hustling so so much and it was just a lot on me i didn't really have a life outside of work and i sacrificed so much but that was when i realized i financially am going to be okay doing graphic design because i'm making enough now just doing freelancing that i'm sure i can make even more because i'll have all the time to dedicate on my outreach on my content and reaching more clients that are out there so that's really what helped me and allowed me to take that leap was I knew that financially I would be okay and there might be some scary weeks or scary months, but I knew that I would have enough passion behind me to get through it. So the third thing that helped me, which is what I just kind of mentioned, is my passion. I knew that like after every single career I tried to go down, everything I dabbled in, that I still had a deep, deep passion for graphic design, for website design, for just the creative world. And that passion was what really fueled me to take that leap. I'm getting chills talking about it because it just like excites me that as creatives, there's so many ways that we can make a living off of this and it's such a beautiful thing. And for so long, I thought that maybe that wasn't possible and like who was really gonna pay that much for a website or that much for branding, but 
there's so much value behind the creative industry and website brand design that I just knew that it would be successful. I know that's kind of a vague answer, but I, I knew it would be successful because I'm, I'm passionate about that. And I remember a few years ago, my boss told me that you can't go after what you're passionate in in order to make money because your passions don't really turn into a good income. And that just like really stuck with me because I personally feel that if you're passionate about something, then you're more likely to be super consistent and you're mo more likely to do anything and everything you can to make it successful. So that's my belief and my opinion that if you have the passion for it, it'll be successful, it'll work out. And I'm so glad that I listened to that little voice inside of me because I feel like I've come across so many people that think that making money is their passion, but in reality, that's not gonna last forever. And I feel like if you have a passion in like some sort of skill or some sort of like area that involves you using a different part of your brain, then it's gonna be more successful than just chasing money. So for me, I always, always came back to graphic design because I loved it. I loved doing it. And I didn't really realize five years ago, six years ago that it could be a full-time job. So I'm just sharing this with you all because if you feel like you have that passion to do graphic design and you feel that drive to do anything and everything you can to make your business successful, then take the freaking leap. Like you will make it work and you will make it happen if you are passionate. The next reason I decided to finally take my business full-time was I had a really good system in place. Now, before I went full-time, I made sure that I had a good workflow for my clients, that I had project management systems, that I had everything set up so that I would be successful. And I'm just the type of person where I overthink everything and I was overthinking that step into full-time graphic design. So with that overthinking, I overprepared, which I actually recommend that most people do because with that preparation, I was able to kind of like dive into the outreach and dive into the content to get more clients and to be successful my first year of business and if i hadn't prepared and planned to take my business full time i probably would have spent the first like two to three months of the year organizing my business and making sure that i have project management systems that i have good proposals that i have good contracts that i have good emails to send like i probably would have been deep into the project management part of my business other than deep into the actual graphic design part of my business. So I highly recommend before taking that leap and quitting freelancing is to make sure that you have a really good process in place because that's gonna help you so much. And if it's a very busy season, just trust me, you're gonna need a good workflow and a good system in place or else you're gonna go absolutely crazy and you're probably gonna burn out because you are just in over your head with client management and not even you, you won't even have enough brain energy to sit down and actually create beautiful things. And I have been in that position many times, even when I was freelancing, I felt like I would hit these burnout seasons. Like it was like the cycle where I would go, 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 burn out, go, go, burn out because I never really had a good system set in place that I would use consistently. And this is the first year where I really had that consistent plan and client management and project management and bookkeeping and everything was set up for me so that I felt like I could actually dive into my client work. So those are the main reasons I was able to quit freelancing and start full-time graphic design and I know it can be a really scary transition and you might have some fears behind it but like I said if you have the passion and you, you have the drive and there's part of you that just knows that it will work then I highly recommend just taking the leap and doing it because at the end of the day you don't want to regret taking that risk and I'm all about risk taking now I feel like if you want to do something just freaking do it and I think one of the hardest parts about being a designer or an entrepreneur or wanting to go into that world is you can't really overthink everything like for me in design business I if I were to overthink every little thing I did, I would have been my biggest roadblock because for me, I just do it. And I, I, it's so hard to teach that and really express that because 
a lot of times it can be scary showing up online it can be scary taking the leap it can be scary taking these risks but just doing it is going to not only teach you so much it's going to give you confidence to go after more things and more things and more things and that's the biggest thing i learned in my own experience and in my own world is that i just always said yes for so long and it provided me so many experiences so much opportunity i've definitely had moments where i failed moments where things didn't go as planned but it taught me so much and it allows me to sit here today and talk about being a full-time graphic designer which is crazy like i can't believe this is like my career and my job and just so so thankful for it but i want you guys to have that same feeling that same experience especially with going into this new year um if you feel that pull and you feel that drive i really hope that this video helped you let me know if it did i have another video that talks about my entire journey to graphic design if you're interested i will link it above here i don't know what side it goes on but definitely check that out if that's something you are interested in learning more about but i really hope that this was helpful i hope that listening to my experiences and my journey and what helped me take the leap really really pushes you to do the same if you have been wanting to do that but if you're interested in learning more or maybe you want to get that client experience nailed down before you take the leap i do have a bunch of courses available i have a branding course a website design course a course on how to get clients and i have so many more courses to come so definitely be sure to check those out or join my email list so you know when the new courses are launched but thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope it helped uh, thank you so much and please subscribe and like this video for more and i hope i will see you in the next video